nice day out here in South Florida. I mean, it's kind of cloudy, but oh well, we'll get over it. So today, we're gonna be moving the red tail into the pond, new one, and the, the large mouth into the big pond out front. So let's get to doing that. This is my 55 gal. This is where I have been growing out this guy, the large mouth, and this guy, the red tail. I got the large mouth for like five inches, I would say. The red tail, I got him at one inch. That was six months ago. So these fish grow fast. These are not fish the new beginner uh, people to the hobby should be getting because these fish get massive and they get massive quick. We're talking about a fish that's gonna get five foot. And this fish requires a lot of care, a lot of food, big tank, and well, sooner or later they're gonna require a pond. And if you live up north and you can't have a pond that's outside the whole year with exotics, I would never get this fish because it's just going to die. And a tank big enough to hold one of these as an adult is going to be so expensive it's just not even worth it for a $40 fish. But yeah, we're going to move him into his new pond and him into the big pond that's been around for a while now. So let's get to doing that. Alright, so I'm going to siphon some of the water out into the bucket. Just because, well, to transport a fish, you need water. And that's the fish is going to die. To start the siphon, I took off the whole pump because it was getting in the way. So you're just going to do that and see the water going down. Put it back into the tank and it'll keep going. Now, the siphon, water is going into the bucket. We're going to fill it up just a little bit. And then we're going to start to take the fish to the new location. Alright, it's good enough. Stop the siphon. You're just going to cut it off like that. Just take this part out of the fish tank, put it back down, and just boom, it's done. And then you can just put that down. Now we're going to catch the fish. Okay, so I switched you guys to the GoPro now, just to make this easier, so I got both hands. So, first we're going to take out the bass. So this might be kind of challenging. Come on up. Okay, there we go. He is fast. And this is a small net. I should have probably gotten a bigger net. Oh, come on. Okay. Come on, Bass. No, you don't want to go. Okay, he's breaking out. There we go. Bottom. And he's in the bucket. There we go. So now, we're just going to move him to the new pond, or to the big pond, actually. Coming out to the pond, we've got the bass in the bucket, and we're just going to take him there. He's going to be going into that big old pond, so that's a nice big home for him, where he will have plenty of food and other things that he could do in there. Which is, this is a pretty big upgrade from a 55 into this monster of a pond. have a brain and does have some levels of intelligence. You know, let's scoop him out. Come on, get out of your little hole. Come on out. Okay. He does not want to come out. Come on, buddy. I'm just going to move a piece of driftwood. Give me more room to work. Face first into the net. Okay, I've got him. 
Okay. He's now in the bucket. He has grown and he's gotten much stronger. Welcome. Okay, so, well, here's the catfish. I'm gonna acclimate him for at least 30 minutes just to acclimate the temperature because the water is the same chemistry. It comes all from the same well. So the water shouldn't have any different chemistry. It's just acclimation to the temperature because I do not want him to stress out. And red tails are known for stressing out with uh, high fluctuations in temperature. So yeah, you just grab a cup of water like that from the pond and pour it into the bucket with a catfish. And that's it. I'm just gonna do that over a 30 minute period of time. Okay, so now I'm gonna gently take him out and release him into the pond. In 30 minutes, he's temperature acclimated, so he should be good to go. So we're gonna pick him up slowly. Relax. 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 This is him. Come in. There you go, buddy. Here you go. And there he goes into his new 400 gallon pond. It's quite an upgrade from a 55 gallon fish tank. I think he'll be happy. This is what a red tail does most of the time. They just kind of sit there. So, yeah. It was a good release. It's nice and smooth compared to the taking out part. It's kind of a pain. been growing. Everything's been cleared up. There's mollies and other little fish swimming around in there breeding. So yeah, it's a functioning ecosystem at this point. Okay, well that's the end of this video. Like, subscribe, comment, do all those things. The red tail is in the pond. He's gonna love it. It's so much bigger than the tank he was in. It's... how many times? It's, he was in a 55, this is a 400 gallon pond. So yeah, if you do the math, that's quite a bit bigger. So we should be happy in there. And yeah, that's it. Peace. Oh, and by the way, for all those wondering how I moved the red tail in so fast, it's only been like five days. I put pre-cycled media in the filter. I put like six or seven packs of pre-filter media. So pre-filtered substrate in the pots too. Like substrates and sitting in tanks, so there's plenty of beneficial bacteria. I put minnows in here to test it. Minnows, all, most of them survived, only a few died because they were unhealthy in transport. But uh, yeah, 
pond is perfectly safe for fish. See, there's a bunch of little minnows. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there's like a hundred in here. It's quite a few. And the red tail is back in there. Showing, because that's what red tails do. Not much. They eat, they poop, and they just show. 